What home renovations do you need to do to get your home ready to sell? Today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about some cost-effective renovation tips that will help increase your home's value and help you get your home sold quickly. So the first thing that you have to do is to plan your renovation. And that means you need to set a realistic budget. And I think that's probably the hardest part and the biggest thing that most people fail at when they're doing home renovations. People say, oh, well, it's going to be this many square feet, and I can buy the material for this, and did you actually price that would be my question because things are a lot more expensive now than they were even two to three years ago. So setting a realistic budget for your renovation and then sticking to it is going to be the biggest tip that I can give you to make your renovation successful. You also want to make sure that renovations you plan on doing are going to bring you the most money back. So sometimes people want to put $50,000 into a kitchen. Well, I'm sure the kitchen's going to be beautiful when you're done, but is it going to get you a $50,000 increase in your sales price? Probably not. So doing a major kitchen upgrade like that, unless you plan on staying in the home to enjoy that over time, I wouldn't spend that much money. Now, if you're talking twenty to 25000 for a kitchen reno, yes, that's probably going to be worth your while. Get your countertops updated, change out some cabinets, do some custom things in your kitchen. It will be worthwhile. What other kind of things would you want to do inside your home? Look at your bathrooms. Do they need a refresh? Sometimes a simple upgrade such as new hardware, new fixtures, fresh caulk, and a modern vanity will make your bathroom sparkle and look brand new. Other things you can do are landscaping. We're getting ready to hit the season of spring. And so that's a time when a lot of people are going to be doing yard work. So think about what could you do to enhance the way your home looks now on the outside. Do you need to freshen up your mulch at the front? Do you need to plant some new flowers? Do you need to trim the shrubs back? Do you need to pressure wash your sidewalk in your driveway? All those are things that can help with the curb appeal. A couple of other things, swapping out your mailbox for something different. I know a lot of times you just have a basic black mailbox that I swear if the car goes by too fast, it's wobbling. So maybe replace that with something sturdier, a bright color. Sometimes just painting your front door can make a big difference in the appearance of your home as well. Looking at the inside of your home again, do you need to paint the inside? Have you had kids in your home or pets in your home? You've got scuffs on the wall. You've moved things around and you just need a fresh coat of paint. That's going to be something that is going to be well worth your while as long as you stay with pretty neutral colors. White, off-white, beige, maybe a light gray. It's okay to have an accent wall but not in every room. So talk to someone. You can call an agent out. We can help you make those kind of decisions. Do you need to paint your trim? Do you need to get new doors or paint the existing doors that you have? Again, those are some projects that won't take too long, won't break the bank, but could make a big impact for the buyers coming through. If you have carpet in your home, look at it, determine do you need new carpet? Do you need a deep clean of that carpet? Do you want to take the carpet out and put something else down? I know that a lot of people love to have carpet in the bedrooms, but they want their main living areas to be laminate, luxury vinyl, hardwood floors. So look at that through a buyer's perspective. What kind of flooring is going to be best suited for the different areas of your house? You don't want to over-renovate your home. So again, that's where it's very important that you prepare a budget ahead of time. Stick to your budget. If it looks like you're going to be going over, do you really need to do X, Y, and Z? Stay on target. Now, getting an agent into your home before you start the renovations is probably the second most important tip I can give you because, again, you don't want to over-improve. 
make sure that you get an agent in there. We can advise you on, yes, this would be a great idea. This is definitely going to add value to your home. Or, yeah, I don't think I'd probably do that. Again, unless you plan on living in the house for a longer period of time to recover that cost by living there and enjoying it, Sometimes people want to make improvements that really aren't going to help their bottom line when it comes to selling their home. Sometimes we can do things ourselves. DIY projects have become the rage, especially since COVID had hit. But sometimes we do need a professional to come in. An agent can also help you determine that. If it's a complicated reno, you probably need to get the professionals in there. Are you thinking about selling your home this year and you need someone to guide you through this process and help you determine what are the best things for me to do to get my home sold? Let me know. I'd love to help.